eight, 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 eight. What's up, guys? This is my response to Memphis Final Jim and the Misses with your <clears throat> thread for the grooviest gatefold. Um, I just changed my hat from the last video I just did just to give you a different feel for it. Maybe I should just rip my shirt off, but I didn't want to, like, you know, to go too crazy on you guys for that. I don't know if the missus is ready. I don't think the missus is ready. By the way, um, I'm sorry I didn't get back to you yet in the text you gave me recently, but I will to tell you that it is A-OK -okay that you cannot make it to the Fish concert. I understand. Business first, work first, money first, family first. It's all good. Just know what you're listening to in the background. Um, Jim, the missus, I'm not sure how much you're into these guys, but I've had this... <laughs> I've been waiting to listen to this forever and ever and ever, and I've had it for so long, and I'm finally giving it a ch more of a chance, and I really had a good night tonight between the last video I did and this one, and just listening to music, and so I'm finally loving every moment of King Crimson, Starless, and Bible Black. I'm going to pay like three bucks for this used, and that's a great, great price for a record of this magnitude, and to buy a band of this stature. So... Let me show you um, three different gatefolds I have. I think are really cool. First one here is a record I only got for a buck. It's pretty cool. I knew about and it's a demonstration copy as well. Um, I knew about this record. I knew, sorry, I knew about this artist because he was famous for me in my mind because there's a Jay Dilla um, beat that was very popular called um, "Circulate," and the song is like. Let the dollar circulate. Let the dollar circulate. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, it's a very, very big Jay Dilla track. And this man actually made the original song. His name is Billy Paul. I'm gonna show you the outside first because the outside's so sick. This is an album called War of the Worlds. Only pay a dollar. And here's a gatefold. And this is one of those gatefolds where it's just. It's just the artist, but man, your boy is so sick. I think I'm going to pop it up in the bottom and try to hold the vinyl. Ready? My name is Billy Paul. My name is Billy Paul. So that's your first one there. Your boy is chilling up in the mountains. What's up? What's up? Chilling in the mountains and he's chilling in his wizard wardrobe. So honestly, you know, you can't, who, how, who, how can you blame this guy? Right? He's in the mountains, you gotta wear the, you gotta wear the robe. This is one I thought you guys would really appreciate. Um, this is my Impulse reissue of um, John Coltrane's Love Supreme. I'm pretty sure you guys have this exact copy. Um, remastered original analog recording, a limited edition heavy virgin vinyl, original gatefold design, custom packaging, rare photos, original liner notes. Now, what I think is great about this is that when I got this, I always knew about the song, like, you know, and the common beat. Do, 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 do. But I never realized that Love Supreme was actually like John Coltrane's, you know, gift to the Lord. So just speaking on that Christian tip between me and you guys, I think it's really awesome to have, you know, this repression that has the original insert. I mean, sorry, the original gatefold, which is, um, you know, all these lyrics. On the bottom here, you have this poem and the lyrics that sort of go along that aren't really sung, but the, but the words that go along with the whole record. Uh, it's almost like a record. I don't think there's. I've only listened a couple times, but I'm pretty sure there's no. There's no singing on this album, so it's basically just like words to go with the music while you're listening, which is really cool. So I should really try to like span this out, listen to this across the whole record's time, and then it starts off with you know the whole thing is by John Coltrane. Um, Dear listener, all praise be to God, to whom all praise is due. Um, there's a whole long thing here, and then it says at the end, 
uh, this album is a humble offering to Him, an attempt to say thank you, God, through our work, even as we do in our hearts and with our tongues. May He help and strengthen all men in every good endeavor. Get more of these long, long wise ones. I'm pretty sure you guys have this, so I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just awesome. Um, I really want to spend more time on this, so I'm going to leave this out of my shelf right now. I remember really thinking it was cool when I first got it, but I need some more time on it, especially because I'm having issues recently with just, you know, I have so much going on, and th these, these days, it's just so much sound, you know? Back then, when Jesus was present and everything was going on back then, um, and even prior to in the Old Testament, we didn't have media. There was no noise like this. And I'm not saying noise in a bad way, I'm just saying between music and television and films and reading novels and working. In this today's world, there's a lot of outside noise. Um, so this is a great way for me to sort of maybe, I, I want to see how it would be to maybe go ahead and maybe read the Old Testament and some of the New Testament with a, with a love supreme. I would love to hear your thoughts on that, Jim. Um, I would love to know how, you know, have you had that experience yet? If not, maybe me and you can spend a, um, a day where we can both plan on reading um, some of the Testaments, one of the, the New Testament with a love supreme and really seeing where it takes us. Anyway, awesome, awesome record. And really, really cool gatefold to see the original pressing, the original gatefold from the original pressing. So thank you for reminding me to leave this out. If I make me pull it out on the shelf, it will be staying out on the shelf. Out of the shelf. And then last but not least, I've showed this one in the past, as I showed the others, and I will say, I think I remember saying at the time, I mean, the artwork in this is just supreme. This is um, Erica, Erica Badu, A New America Part 2. Return of the Ankh. That's the cover. And of course the gatefold, this, none of my gatefolds are, are horizontal, they're all vertical, so I'm like trying to make sure these vectors don't fall out. But I remember I showed you guys this. It's amazing. It's really, really nice. And if I remember correctly, see, it's all, it's all her writing. Um, it's not the lyrics to the record or anything like that. It's just sort of her speaking, you know, starts off introduction I am a rather plain girl I've always been rather plain girl um, what's the last sentence she grows welcome to the mind of America keep up it's cool I'll have America Part 1. Um, America Part 1 has a couple cool songs, especially that song The Healer. I think Madly produces The Healer, if I remember right. But I just remember being a much, much bigger fan of Part 2. So one day I just decided this is where I want to go for and get. You should look at this album up close, man. I, I told everyone last time, they got to do this record. This album cover up close and this big vinyl copy is just sick. So if you guys ever go into a store, I'm not even gonna, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask you guys to go ahead and buy this record because you don't. If it's not your style, it's not your style. But um, I feel my boy, my man, the teacher, teacher's probably up on this. I'll be sure of that. Um, but I will say this: if you're in the record store, Jim and the Misses, or anyone else watching this, if you see this in the record store, just go up, take a nice minute of your time. There's a lot of details in here. You'll see little babies and flower pods. So if you see this, if you're in a record store, go to the hip hop and the R&B section, grab up, um, you know, Amer Erica Badu's New America Part Two, and just spend a nice minute or two just looking at the vinyl up close because it's really, really cool, really beneficial. It's a really pretty, pretty art piece of artwork. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. Um, hope everything's going well on your end over in Memphis. Um, I will give you a call soon, very shortly. Starting to get back to you right away. I haven't got back to you yet. I did get your text, but didn't respond. Um, basically, just being an asshole. <laughs> but I will get back to you. One love. Love you guys both dearly. Man.